Well, hello guys, this is Hextex from Pen It Out. Today I'm going to tell you how to use uh, Proteus. This is a developing environment in which we can build circuits and then convert them to PCB boards. It's very easy to use, but it can be very overwhelming at first. This is our basic layout. We can start a new file by going to File, New Designs. <coughs> I would basically select A1. Select A1 and press OK. Okay, this is your basic layout. These blue lines over here and these over here tell you where you can place your circuit. Out the outside this board, you cannot place your circuits. Okay, we'll start. Right click on your mouse and you're gonna go to place. And then you can place components, junction dots, text scripts, bus, circuit, sub circuits, terminal, device print, graphs. There are a lot of things. Okay, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to put a component in your design. Go to this P over here, it'll open your library. I'll start with the resistor. You can type over here, this area over here. Go over there and type resistor R E. Okay, now we get this is the basic resistor model. We have no PCB preview, no PCB package. Okay, this is very important because it's related to our PCB design mode. And this is the basic resistor. Okay, there are different things in Proteus. Like if I go to analog ICs, it will show us a PCB preview package. And then this SPICE model over here shows us that this can be used in a simulation model. Okay, I'm going to go to resistors. Okay, looks like I don't have a resistor. Okay, here they are. Mm, how about this one? Okay, I'm going to put this resistor on my board. And I'm going to click on my resistor and then click on my board. I'm going to zoom in with scrolling from my mouse and this is my basic resistor. Okay, well congratulations guys. We have just placed a resistor on our circuit diagram. Okay, double click on the resistor and this dialog will open. Here you can specify the resistor. I'll say this is 10K. Press OK. Now what we are going to do is we are going to make a circuit out of this resistor. I am choosing to use just a resistor because it's very basic and very easy to use. I am going to go to terminal and then I am going to put a ground. Let's put our ground over here and put it connected with this. Just connect one part of the resistor and extend it and you will get a wire. If you want to make a custom wire diagram then you are going to click to the points where you want your wire to bend like I'm doing right now and if you want your wire to end just go to that point and click it two times okay here's our wire now I'm gonna give it a power source again I'm gonna place go to place right click go to place then I'm gonna go to terminals then I'm gonna click power okay here's my power but it looks like it's pointing upwards that's that doesn't matter but I like mine pointing downwards so I'm gonna do it rotate 180 degree bring it over here and then connect it with my power okay to simulate this circuit I'm gonna go over here this panel over here and I'm gonna click play okay now here it is simulating my circuit these are my messages like it told me that it has loaded the spice SDN this SDN is my DSN is my this circuit okay I'm gonna close it and then I'm gonna stop now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the measure the voltage around this resistor I'm gonna go to place I'm gonna go to virtual instruments then I'm gonna go to DC voltmeter here's my voltmeter I'm gonna put it over here okay I'm gonna put it over here connect this one terminal over here and this one terminal over here now if I click play okay it's showing me it's 5 volt it shows me 5 volt because this power terminal always gives us 5 volt unless we specify it for more volts you're gonna go to clear right click place voltage probe no so I'm sorry generator and then DC now if I click here and I click connect it with this wire 
then I'll click my VCC and I'll specify like give me 20 volts and I click play and it will simulate now it's showing me errors there are different errors but this was just to show you how we can put errors in our circuit this simulation is in real time and it's very very useful for building our circuit board I'm gonna click stop and I'm gonna click this VCC and I'm gonna press delete and I'm gonna remove it <coughs> so guys this was our basic circuit next time I'm gonna show you how to make more complex circuits